What's up, everyone? So right now I'm driving to Las Vegas, and I'm super excited. You know, I've been to Vegas tons of times, and especially with me being a DJ music producer, I'm pretty well connected in the Vegas scene, especially with a lot of club promoters, and just makes the night obviously way more fun overall. And I wanted to do this video because I've hung out with a lot of club promoters, obviously, and kind of seen what the side of the club promoting scene is like, you know? And they receive hundreds of texts in like a day. It's crazy, especially during the busy times. And they always complain about all these different things that people say or talk about. So in this video, just to kind of, you know, at least help them out a little bit, I'm gonna talk with you five things that you should never say to a Vegas promoter. And in addition, I'll give you like a good alternative as in, hey, if you want to say this, you should say this instead. Number one, don't be vague. Now, this is a big thing that they might get a lot as in like, hey, I'm in Vegas. What's good? And that's the entire text, right? The most ambiguous text. Like I said, they get so many texts all the time that they don't have time to almost like handhold you through the, okay, well, okay, what's the point? Like, do you want to get guest listed? Like, why are you texting, right? So the best thing to do is when you text them, be nice and cordial, obviously, but then kind of give them like a more specific thing saying, hey, I'm in Vegas uh, for the next three days. It's me and two other girls. Uh, are there any guests as opportunities? Or, hey, it's me, I'm a solo guy. I'm just curious if you have any suggestions about what's going on for the next couple of nights, right? So the more specific you can be, the less texting they have to do back and forth with you, and especially as you can imagine, they're always texting tons of different people at once, so this just makes it a lot easier. Number two, having a competition between promoters. This annoys them to no end when they get a text from somebody who's like, hey, I was talking to this guy at Excess. He said he could get us free entry plus two free drinks. Can you do any better? Honestly, creating like a competition or basically like, hey, this one promoter did this, can you do any better? It's just super, you know, it's just annoying to them because it almost makes them feel like a piece on like the chessboard. It almost makes them feel like you don't even give a crap who they are or what they do. It's really annoying to them, you know what I mean? So, and when it comes down to as well, is unless you have a very, 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 intimate connection with a club promoter the truth is they're all going to have the same deals and even more so if you do have a very intimate connection with a club promoter only text one if you let's say text a bunch a lot of times they'll usually forward those texts to other friends who are maybe well uh, better connected with that club or whatever the case is so the truth is you're just going to get a bunch of people really annoyed number three asking for free bottle service now this hands down pisses them off the most out of anything and as it probably sounds you know it usually 99.9% of the time comes from girls you know saying hey well me and a couple of my girlfriends are in town can we get free bottle service the truth is bottle service is extremely tricky you really have to look at it as like real estate in a club and it's very hard to get now in some situations let's say it's like five girls and it's only girls and let's say they're all incredibly attractive Will they get you free bottle service? Maybe, especially if like say like it's in the beginning of the night, you're only gonna be at a table for an hour until someone buys it. They might throw in like a free bottle of champagne, maybe, maybe, maybe vodka if you're lucky. But the truth is getting free bottle service is extremely tricky. In club terms, that's almost like saying like, hey, can we stay at an apartment and rent it for free? Or can we, you know, stay in this house for free? You know, because that's very valuable real estate in a club industry. In addition, it kind of comes back to this thing and again, this depends person to person, but a lot of promoters say that a lot of times when they get texts, especially from girls, it's usually girls who get very frustrating because they act like they're entitled to have free bottle service because they think they're hot or whatever the case is. Now, granted, this is a whole different subject, a whole different video, but I will say this, don't text a promoter like almost acting like they own you something or they, they des- or you deserve something or you're entitled to something, you know, or something along those lines. You're just another person like everybody else in terms of their minds when you text them. So be nice. If bottle service comes up, awesome, but don't expect it. Number four, not doing research. If like say you're texting a club mortar and they say, hey, you know what? We just guessed this is you for Omnia or Hakkasan or whatever the case is. Don't then text them back and be like, oh, well, who's the DJ? Like, where's the club located again on the strip? Like, how do I get there, blah, blah, blah. These are things you should really figure out on your own. Their job is to get people in the door. That's it. They're not, you know, there to handhold you and babysit you in terms of how you should get there, what the traffic is gonna be like on the strip, 
all this kind of stuff. At most, it's not a bad idea to ask him what time should we get there. That's a very common question. But besides that, don't ask him who the DJ is, if the DJ is any good. You know, all these kind of questions are things that you can do research on your own. And really, it's just a lack of laziness. Like I said, they get so many texts all the time that they don't have time to kind of give all these little finite details that you can just pop up on your phone and do a quick Google search. And last but not least, number five, don't ask them for drugs. Now, obviously, I guess by definition, alcohol is a drug, but I know a lot of club promoters have been asked, like, hey, by the way, do you know where you can get any Molly or any Coke or whatever the case is? Do not ask them those questions. You know, like, if you think about it, this is their job, and you would never, and a good I know the club promoting industry is a whole different industry, but at the same time, it's a business like none other, and if you think about it, you would never ask anyone else in another industry, hey, do you know where we can get some illicit drugs? This just puts them in a bad position. In addition, sometimes they may even feel uncomfortable saying, well, if I bring this person to my club, are they going to name drop me and say that they were going to give me Coke or Molly or any other drug? Oh, whatever the case is. It's just something you shouldn't do. Especially, obviously, these drugs, you know, you never, most people don't usually ask for alcohol unless it's bottle service. So most of the drugs people usually ask for, obviously, are illegal. So it's just a bad route to go down. So those are the five things you should never ask Vegas promoters. I just want to do this video, especially because obviously, like I said, I'm driving to Vegas. And after talking to a lot of different club promoters, to a lot of friends of mine, I just hear all the time all these negative complaints. I'm like, hey, you know what? Might as well make a video to kind of hopefully, you know, make the experience better for them in terms of people annoying them to no end with all these questions. But I really hope you guys like this video. And if you do have any other questions, I guess, about Vegas or different ways to interact in Vegas or club promoting or anything, definitely post them in the comments.